Good day, this is Jim Pytel from Columbia Gorge Community College Renewable Energy Technology Program. This is EET 122, Digital 2. Today we're going to have a quick discussion on parity generators and checkers. And if you remember way back when, in EET 121, we had a discussion about parity. So parity, all it is, is a means of error checking, whereby a parity bit is assigned to a stream of bits, which makes it even or odd. So there's two types of parity, even or odd. There's no such thing as even odd or anything like that. It's chocolate or vanilla, black or white, even or odd. There's, there's only, basically a system is only gonna be even parity or it's only gonna be odd. That would, it would make no sense if you, if you had a system um, doing even and odd parity, it just wouldn't work. So um, we are talking about our errors, basically an undesirable change in voltage due to um i don't know some some error some uh like some wire dangling you know like you want to send one one zero one that's the that's what you are trying to send but right at the moment you transfer this bit here some wire touches the the data bus or something like that and it's mistakenly transmitted as one. You want to be able to catch that because 1101 may be the code for something good, 1111 may be the code for something bad. So you need to know if there is an error, if that really was what you meant to send. Okay, so let's talk about even parity. Even parity. A bit is attached to a certain stream of bits that makes the entire stream when added together disregarding carrier carries even okay let's talk well let's talk about one one zero one okay so disregarding carries so one plus a one that's a zero we can disregard that carry of one plus a zero is a zero plus a one that's a one so that's odd so we need to make that even we're going to add a one to it that's our parity bit okay that's going to make one one zero one plus one that will make it even okay now let's take a number that's already even one zero one zero it's already even excuse me oops plus zero it's already even, so what are we going to add to make it even? We're going to add a zero to make it even. Get it? So that's already even. But now if we were using odd parity, it'd be exactly opposite. One, one, zero, one, it's already odd. What are we going to add to it to make it odd? A zero. One, zero, one, zero. What are we going to add to make that odd? Well, it's an even number. We're going to add, add a one to make it odd. That's odd parity. That's even parity. So why is this useful? Well, when you have an even parity system, so let's just use this number that we were trying to send, 1101. If we, if we meant to send 1101, we attach our parity bit to it of one. So now you've got this extra bit right here, your parity bit. So if that's the number you meant to send and that's the number you receive, you're good to go because it is even. But now, Let's say someone on the other side gets, oops, yeah, gets that number. Well, what they do is they do a checker, basically a one plus a one plus a one plus a one, that's odd. So they know, well, we're using an even parity system, something's wrong here, okay? So there is uh, a chip that you guys will see, is a 74280, and all it is, what just happened there? Well, for some reason, my uh, whole thing blanked out. Hopefully, you got all that. Um, anyways, so a 74280 is basically you're going to have 0 to 9 coming in. And this can be used as a generator or a checker, which is really cool about this chip here. Okay, so you've got zero to nine digits coming in. 
and let's say you have an 8-bit stream, so this is our 8-bit stream, plus your one parity bit, basically that's your, that's your number, your 8-bit number, and this is your parity bit. And all it does is, if it's even, that's high, and that's low. If it's odd, that's low, that's high. So if you're using an even system, you always want that one to be one. If you if you uh, if there's an error, that's the error condition. If you're using an odd system, you always want that one to be high, and that is your error code. So now you can also be used as a generator, which is really sweet. So you can do a nine-bit number um, coming in, and what it's going to do is going to generate the carry. Oh, excuse me, generate the carry generate the parity bit okay so if you want to use it as a even parity generator what you're going to do if this number is coming in is odd well the odd will be high so you need to use that's the odd that's the even so you need to use this one as the parity bit so basically all you're doing is attaching that one number plus the odd output. If it's even, if this number coming in is even, well, odd will be low, so you're going to add that low. If the number is odd, well, that would be high, making it even. So that's even, even. If you want to use it as an odd parity generator, exact opposite. So you would just take the even plus the even output. So that's used as even parity generator. That's used as the odd parity generator. That's about it for parity generators and checkers.